really look and they uh, conducting and ask herself what basically what is this what conducting is is that is that um, something similar or the same as a musician who play uh, his or her instruments um, and the answer will be yes it is very similar but it also very different and for a simple reason because conductor does not have a physical contact with the subject the same way as musician might have and because of this little but very significant difference uh, conducting as a process should be considered um, as something uh, different than other musical activities um, because uh, simply put you are not playing but somebody and not something but somebody is playing for you and it means that everything what you do have to be designed in accordance with a human perception the difficulties in conducting are rooted in the differences or dissimilarities between the visible, evident, physical aspects and actions and inevident <clears throat> subconscious activity of the uh, conductor and also the inevident reactions um, and, and the subconscious reactions of the musicians. So we have to clearly understand um, how musicians react to the conductor's action, why they react one way or another, uh, what kind of action should conductor demonstrate. Is, is conducting action, is that purely physical or it's mainly spiritual and psychological? Why do we need to know all of those things? For a very simple reason. In our time, in modern time, we have to learn how to find an instant connection, an instant way of instant communication with the musicians, with the orchestra. And uh, even though it might sound very simple, but to find an instant, a way of instant communication, an instant productive connection with musicians, artistically productive, it's very uneasy. And um, <clears throat> from this perspective, we have to analyze and redesign the whole concept of the orchestral technique. Um, everything is important in conducting. Uh, a slightest disposition of the arm could be very um, destructive. Even how conductor dress himself herself is very important. How conductor behave, how conductor act, how his mental performance um, going during conducting, and if it is um, if is mental performance going in a proper way or not. Um, later we will discuss uh, different phenomena which are we have to seriously consider if we look at the conducting process as intercommunicative process. And even more, uh, if, we, if we accept that conducting is intercommunicative, that it's communication 
going between conductor and musician. We have to consider, we have to discuss the principle of communication. And we have to uh, look in the different areas of the human activity and uh, in different areas of the science as well. Um, conducting in general might be in some ways similar to um, our lingual activity because speaking simply conducting is nothing less or more but just a projection of the certain information specific very specific type of information but still the information and uh, information is information it's not attention it's not um, any sort of the power um, it could be powerful, but it's not, it's not include any tension in itself. And uh, from this point, from point of communication, we have to design all conducting apparatus, conductors apparatus, inner and outer, physical and mental, in accordance with this.